PHP Storm 2020.1 has now been released. In this video, we'll take a quick look at some of its most exciting features. In earlier versions of PHP Storm, you had to use a dedicated dialog to manage composer dependencies. While this dialog is still available, managing dependencies is now so much easier with native support for composer.json. Inside the project, you can now right-click in the project tree and select New Composer.json file to create a Composer JSON stub. Now when you start filling in the package details, you'll get code completion wherever possible. This is how dependencies are managed as well. Auto-completion is provided for the package name and its available versions. If a dependency is not yet installed, PHP Storm detects and highlights its record. Now press Alt plus Enter and install either all dependencies or just a specific one. Inside the Auto Load or Auto Load Dev sections, you'll now get completion both for namespaces and folder paths based on your project structure. Inside the Script section, PHP Storm will now provide completion for PHP static method names and any commands for command line executables under the vendor bin directory. If you want to call a command from inside another command, you can now use references. Type the at symbol to get completion both for the default and custom commands. The rename refactoring is also available here. Press Ctrl plus T, select rename, and rename the script and all its usages at the same time. Having defined the script, you can run it right away. Either click the icon in the gutter or press Alt plus Enter and select the corresponding action. And finally, the links to packages, websites, or paths in Composer.json are now interactive. You can command click a path to see the corresponding folder in the project tree. Similarly, command click a package to locate it inside the vendor folder, or command click a hyperlink to open it in the web browser. In this new version, PHP Storm offers several useful enhancements for working with PHP Unit. Now to create a test for a class, you can press Alt plus Enter on a class and use the Create New PHP Test Intention Action. Inside the test, PHP Storm will offer you suggestions for quickly migrating your code to the newly released PHP Unit 9. For example, you can replace the deprecated expected exception tag with the respective method call. When working with arrays, you can now replace the generic assert true method with a more descriptive array has key or array not has key. When asserting array sizes, you can now convert assert equals calls to assert count and assert same size. The assert equals method can also be upgraded to a more specific one, such as assert equals with delta. Finally, instead of assert internal type, which checks whether a variable is of some primitive type, you can now use its modernized version. When running tests with coverage, you now have the option to use the PCOV extension. To get started, install the extension and enable it for your PHP interpreter. Next, create a PHP unit run configuration. In the Run Configurations dialog, choose the preferred code coverage engine. Notice that besides PCOV and XDebug, you can now run the coverage analysis using PHPDBG, which is bundled in PHP 5.6 and later. And finally, run the created configuration to observe the code coverage state. The core of PHP Storm, its type inference engine, has received a few nice improvements. Now PHP Storm will highlight the var tag as redundant if the variable type has been inferred successfully. Using the provided quick fix, you can quickly remove the tag. Nullability tracking has become more accurate too. In this version, you won't get a warning sign here telling you that var variable is null. Null guards are considered too. If a null guard is present, PHP Storm will not suggest null as a possible variable type where it's not applicable. Another addition is the capability to infer an array's type from its initializer. As a result, you'll now get code completion when iterating over the array's items. The array element type will also be detected for the closure parameters inside array map and array filter functions. As always, the new version introduces some new refactorings, inspections, and quick fixes. Now to move method from one class to another, you only need to choose the target class. You no longer need to go through any extra dialogues and confirmation prompts. If the method has references to methods or properties of the owner class, then it will automatically be converted to a static method. 
If there are no such references, then it will be moved without being converted. If a PHP doc block has only param tags with types, then you can remove it in favor of native type declarations for parameters. To do this, press Alt plus Enter and choose the Remove Redundant PHP doc comment quick fix. PHP Storm will now highlight ternary expressions that can be reduced and simplified. By using the provided quick fix, you can replace them with a simpler expression. Using pass by reference can sometimes lead to unexpected consequences. PHP Storm will now detect and highlight parameters that are unnecessarily marked as passed by reference. The same applies to redundant by ref values in for each loops. In both cases, you can either delete ampersand in the declaration manually or use the quick fix. When developing web applications or API endpoints, you can now start a debugging session from the HTTP client. First, prepare the debugger, set a breakpoint in your code, and enable listening to debugger connections. Then simply add a request you'd like to debug and use the PHP debug intention. PHP Storm will add an X debug session cookie to the request, run it, and stop at the specified breakpoint. This release includes a new bundled plugin called Grazi, which offers intelligent spelling and grammar checks and supports more than 15 languages. Grazi highlights typos and mistakes just like regular errors so that you can navigate between them, view the descriptions, and use the provided quick fixes. To enable or disable the checks, go to Preferences and select Editor, Inspections, Proofreading. Additionally, under Editor, Proofreading, Grammar, you can configure the scope of the checks. For example, to enable checks in PHP doc comments, make sure to select PHP and Documentation. The new Zen mode combines distraction-free mode with full screen mode. You can enable Zen mode with a single action instead of having to enable the other two modes separately. To try Zen mode, go to View, Appearance, enter Zen mode, or simply use the quick switcher. Press Control plus Backtick for 4. PHP Storm includes a built-in terminal emulator for working with the command line. Press Option plus F12 to open it. In this release, you can right-click anywhere in the terminal tool window area and select Split Vertically or Split Horizontally to observe the output of several commands at once. To close a session, right-click inside the tool window and select Close Session, or simply press Command plus W. At the bottom of the PHP Storm window, there's a status bar that displays the status of the project and the IDE. In this release, you can right-click it and choose what you want to have displayed there. This sums up the major new features in PHP Storm 2020.1, but there are even more. Learn more on our blog at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and download the new version from jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.